have on pause. Okay, I didn't have it on pause, but I set it aside, and so Brandy gained sentience and decided to call Larry without me controlling her. So, I guess I'm recording while I'm rendering, and I hope this doesn't screw up the video, because I... Well, I can't just, like, save it, because then you'll miss the phone conversation. And that wouldn't be fair to you guys. But neither will a screwed up video, so let's just see what happens. Hey Brandy. I've been expecting your call. $250? Who the hell can live off that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know that contract you signed for us that said we would pay you so long as you produced us a book? That little paperwork you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago? Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. That's like half a year. Almost. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake, and now my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. <sighs> it's freezing. I slept in the alleyway last night, Larry. Sorry to hear that, Brandy. You understand this is a bin <laughs> business, though, right? We don't just hand out money to every aspiring author who thinks they've got what it takes. We place bets on your potential. The guys upstairs said that I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. Sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So, what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you that check you're holding now, Brandy. There's nothing left for you. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Verdano. San Verdano? What the hell are you gonna do all the way across the country? Mick Chin's getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss him, huh? Alright, fine. I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story. But you've gotta make this count. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Verdano, and I know you don't have the money for a flight, so don't even complain to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours. The one you write in every night before you go to bed. At the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell. Even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's gonna lose her mind if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine. That's fair enough, I guess. I'm not so good at on-the-fly censoring. I mean, I'm not, I'm not censoring for your benefit, I just have this mental block where I can't say most... Well, not the top three swear words. I'll get over it eventually, but for now, I'm not. So... Had to explain it, it's out of the way, let's move on. I'll keep writing in the journal, and you'll get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Great. Then we've got a deal. Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over at the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers, and we go way back, so any recommendation I give is golden. Hiring ad agency used to do our marketing, but 
I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up both meetings for you. Just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry, I won't. See you in a few days. Woo! Uh, this dog is following me. Woof! Doggy? Wait, doggy. Dogs wanted. Serious people only. Champion training and motivation program. I could definitely turn that pup in for a few bucks. I guess I better take down that number. Picked up dogs wanted phone number. I don't know if that's a good idea. It might be like a dog fight club. Uh, I don't know. Doggies are people too. I like to read the daily news times every morning while I'm eating my breakfast. You'd be surprised what you can find in there. In your breakfast? Was there a figure in there and I already got it? I'm starving. Maybe I'll find some food in here. Forget it for now. I do need to eat though. I'll have a nice delicious pizza pouch. Or two. Yeah. I guess that's better. Microwaved pizza pouches. Cold as the days go on. A little too early for the bar. ATM. Grocery store. But I don't got any money on me. Actually. There's an ATM in here, and maybe there's a figure. Beef steak, 10 bucks. That's not too bad. Dirty mackerel. Everything but that must be cooked first. Figure? Figure? Can't go in there. So, men's and women's ATM over here. No bathroom. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Lost dog! Okay. Uh, I lost my cat in August for like 20 days and I was worried sick about him. I stayed up all day and all night crying and searching for him and putting up posters and calling vets and just just everything. It was terrible. So if this dog has an owner, I'm calling it. Hello? Hello? Hey there, my name is Brandy. I have some information regarding your lost dog. Oh my, oh my, please tell me, have you found my little ladybird? Well, since I picked up her dog locket, the little scamp has been randomly showing up and following me around. Oh my god, oh my god, you found Ladybird? This is fantastic news. Please, put her on the line. Uh, look, I'm not going to put your dog on the phone. What I can do is bring her back to you. Where can we meet? How about we meet at the Krusty Cream down on Main Street? Sure, sounds like a good place to meet. Do they allow dogs inside? Seems like everywhere I go these days is anti-dog. Oh yes, of course they do. Krusty Cream is the first 100% dog-friendly donut shop. Wait, the developer feeds his dog donuts and they hang out at the Krusty Cream. Lady Bird and I quite enjoy their dirty mackerel and cheese sandwiches. Why am I not surprised by that statement? This dog freaks out at the mere mention of mackerel. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Please hurry and thanks for finding my little ladybird. So, that's your name, Ladybird. I don't think it's said on the tag. Come on, doggy. Is this, uh, Tim? Yes. Not the bacon barn. 
doggy poster again. Ah, uh, blocking my path. If you ever lost a pet, you could understand. Hey, doggy followed me. Do you think they'll ever kick us out of here? I mean, we never leave. No way, we're their best customers. Hell, we're probably a tourist attraction by now. Why would people flock to see two guys working in a coffee shop? That makes no sense at all. You know what? Never mind. How much self-referential humor is too much? I don't think people will even get half of these jokes. Don't worry about it, man. We've gotta make ourselves laugh first. Oh boy, I'm laughing all right. Looks like he's working on some sort of video game. Looks kinda neat. That's what you said last time. I assume you're the crazy dog lady I spoke with on the phone? Dog lady? What? No, I'm not crazy. It's the crabby old people who hate dogs who are the crazy ones. I sort of agree. I have three dogs and that's why I'm, well, yeah, three. I gotta take care of three. That's why I'm recording at like 6.40 in the morning, so they don't bark. Do you have my ladybird? I do indeed. Quite the loyal pup as long as you have the scent of mackerel on you. Oh, yay. Oh, hello, my little ladybird. How is mama's girl? So about that reward. Oh yes, of course, how could I forget? Please accept this humble offer of my gratitude. The crazy dog lady gave you $75. <clears throat> Thank you so much for finding my ladybird. We are looking forward to all you can eat dirty mackerel and cheese night. Oh, she seems happy. I'm repeating text, so I'm out of here. And I totally got a sneeze, and since I said that, hopefully that gets the sneeze out, and I don't sneeze. This place is supposed to open soon. I'm pretty pumped. They're supposed to have some really wicked prizes for the games. Okay, dude. But I don't remember what I was doing. I was... I, I got the lady her dog back. Called Larry. Was I supposed to go to the daily news news today? Say hi to Tim. I like that pigeon. He's cool. You can sleep here, but I might knife you in your sleep. Thanks, lady. It's gonna be a long road to payday. I spent all my cash trying to win back my scratch card losses. Yeah, that's why I don't do scratch cards. Some people get lucky and they win. I don't. And I'm not gonna try. Oh, employment center. Do I need to go in here? Dove. Oh, the guard is gone. This is the other side of the town. Hmm. Looks like this place will hire just about anyone. Too bad they're closed for a civic holiday. What the hell is Temp Workers Day anyway? Impossible Putters Child Development Center. Oh, futures. Impossible futures. I can totally read. Close today for field trip. <gasps> field trip, awesome. Three ways to buy. Walk by, chill and log on, I think it said. It's pretty small text from my end. Bus department, where would you like to go today? Beaten, 800, oh my god. That's a lot. Got any figures? 800? No, really. Why 800? Figures? No? 
It's so quiet in here, actually. So used to the music. And there goes the music. And this is the end of town. Bus. I wonder how many miles it is to Beaton, because me myself, I'm I, I can walk like ten miles in a few hours. It's not that bad. Excuse me, I don't recognize you. Do you live here? Can you show me your key? Uh, I don't live here, sorry. It's just kind of exploring the city. Well, that's really nice, but I can't let you in unless I know for certain you're not one of them. Um? Who are you talking about? Haha, <laughs> just what I thought you'd say. It's gonna take a whole lot more than that if you want to get past this security guard. People will not be ignored. Okay. Whatever you say. Ooh! I found another figure! And a pile of bottles? And another bird. I don't know, sound different. I guess that one sounds like the... Yeah, I could. I mean... Just in case. I might not find anything though, but there's nobody around here. Nothing. Hospital. Welcome to Dubstown General. Thanks, lady. Figure? Figure? Vending machine? Trash? Figure! Wonder how many I have. A bunch. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of mystery number. I think Bellinger said sixty. Bird. Bye. Oh yeah, Impossible Futures was closed. Hospital is born. Can I actually explore in here, like the elevator and stuff? It's empty. That's weird. Closet! No figure. Well, that was boring. Just about 20 minutes. So, my exploring will have to just, you know. Well, I've got to go to the place with the daily news news. Don't I? Just a little more exploring and then I'll go look at the news news. Movie theater! Did you hear what's going on in the take home kit yet? Lester, they gave us a sweet laptop. Don't fear me until you hear me. I need to get out of here and condition my hair. You guys are weird. What's a girl gotta do to get some free popcorn? Got any popcorn? This doesn't start soon. I'm going for tacos and a few gallons of ice cold beer. I think a few gallons of beer would kill you. You here for the big press conference? No? His favorite movie theater, a hundred percent. Blogging or posting. Game journalism this, game journalism that, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Hello, good sir, how do you do? I can't wait to hear what this slime bag has to say. It will probably be a cock as usual. 
Well, I don't know what's going on, so... And there's no figures in here. And there's no one to sell me a ticket. That makes me sad. I will be sad forever if that's the case. You, you are the talking trash can. I think you were. Is Haley okay today? Her wall puke is still there. There's some strange music coming from inside the room. I wonder if I should check it out. I will later on the next episode. So see you there.